good evening and welcome. Welcome to day two. Yes. Becoming a fenced brazen wall. I sure do hope you've had a good day so far. Whatever type of day you've had, I can assure you, by the time we are done tonight, it's going to be an unforgettable night for you that will make your day and your night to be so beautiful. Welcome back to the Friday edition of our prayer as we continue on the theme, Becoming a Fenced Bracing Wall. Don't forget to help us do some sharing tonight. You tried yesterday, <laughs> but you've not got to the record you set before. So I'm pleading with you, those of you on Facebook, please, 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 as you are coming in, we implore you to please send the link to your friends. And those of you who are so faithfully there on our podcast, we implore you to do the same. I want to thank those of you that joined us on MixLR yesterday. You can also send the link. We will appreciate you doing that. And those of you who are calling in, we are so happy to have you join us on day two again. Father, bless us tonight. Give me the anointing to lead the prayers and give your people the anointing to pray the prayers. I pray, Lord God, that something new, something fresh, something wonderful will happen in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen and amen. Our scripture for tonight is taken from the book of Jeremiah. That was our text on yesterday. I'm going to read verse 20 and I'm going to read verse 21. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced, bracing wall. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Verse 21 will be our text for tonight. Powerful text. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of of the terrible. That's our focal verse. We're looking there into a truth that is embedded within that verse 21. As a matter of fact, I alluded to that truth yesterday, but I want to magnify it today because it is a very, 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 very serious truth. Look at that verse again, if you will indulge me. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Twice, twice. God established the fact that Jeremiah was already in the hands of bad people. Have you ever had people in your family, in a family that you are surrounded by bad people? There are families like that too, bad people. <laughs> Have you ever pastored a church that is a church full of very bad people? Have you ever walked in an office and it turns out to be that the majority of the people in that office are really bad people? Have you ever lived in a neighborhood or in a city that is full of bad people. Those are realities of life. Jeremiah happened to be surrounded. Oh, have you ever married to a man that is a bad man? Maybe I should call him a bad people. Or you married a wife that's a bad people. Or you've married into a family filled with bad people. It's there's badness all around us, people. And that was where Jeremiah found himself. That was where Jeremiah found his calling. You remember that church in the book of Revelation where it says, you are where Satan's seat 
is. That is serious place to be. And sometimes you are in a family that is the seed of Satan. You are in a city that is the seed of Satan. You are in a neighborhood that is the seed of Satan. And you are surrounded by wicked and terrible people. That's who Jeremiah was. In other words, when God says, you are in their hands, I will deliver you from their hands. You are in their hands. I will deliver you from their hands. That means that they got Jeremiah cornered. They got him arrested. They got him convicted. They got him sentenced. And he was at their mercy. They had done several terrible things to Jeremiah, which included but not limited to being beaten mercilessly. Yes. He was beaten mercilessly. You beat one of these prophets who are traveling around collecting money here, collecting money there today. They're going to curse you out. But they beat Jeremiah mercilessly. They put him in prison. They passed a death sentence on Jeremiah. He wrote his scroll and they burnt the scroll in fire. They burned it to ashes. They even left him at a point in the mud to die. And like I told you yesterday, there was a day that they said he was a liar. And he said, I'm not a liar, I'm a preacher. When you say you are in the hand of somebody, it means that you are at their mercy. They call the shots concerning your life. They are Lord over you. In fact, your destiny depends on them. Such was the situation that Jeremiah was in, in the hand of the wicked, in the hand of the terrible. But look at the promises of God in verse 21. It says, I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you out of the hand of the terrible. We are going to pray tonight, ladies and gentlemen, whoever the wicked and the terrible authority is that things you are in their hands. They got something coming their way tonight. God will deliver you from those filthy hands with which they have held you down like he did for many in the Bible. I'm going to read to you a few scriptures so you will see this thing is all over the Bible. There are people that found themselves in the hands of wicked people. And God comes through and delivers them. Let's look at Peter in Acts chapter 12, in verse number 11. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod. Isn't that beautiful? God delivered him out of. Now listen, you don't come out of if you have never been in a place. So here he was, arrested by Herod in the hand of Herod. Jailed by Herod in the hand of Herod. Sentenced by Herod in the hand of Herod. And it was the next day he was supposed during Easter to be sacrificed. But God came through and delivered him. The same God that delivered Jeremiah and that delivered Peter would deliver you too. I love the scripture. There's a beautiful song. In Luke chapter 1, verse 70 and 71. Beautiful song, beautiful hymn. I don't know if you know it. And he spake, and as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that he should that we should be saved from our enemies. And you know what is next? And from the hand of all that hate us. In this world, you run into people that hate you. But the Bible says God is able to deliver you from the hand of those 
that said they hate you. Let's go back into Genesis, the 32nd chapter, the 11th verse. I love this. It says, deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother. Now listen to this, people. If you have a brother somewhere, it could take. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother of my children. Listen, many times the people God needs to deliver you from are blood of your blood and flesh of your flesh. There he was. Praying that God will come and deliver him from the hand of Esau. And if you know anything about Esau, he was a prolific hunter. He never misses a shot. And God delivered him from him. He never killed him. But it's just that I don't have time to read another scripture. There was another man called Laban. We read about that a few months ago on this prayer line. Who also was after Jacob. God, that one was extended family. <laughs> Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, Esau was immediate family, extended family. So many times the people that are out to get you, that have their claws on you, are people in the immediate family and are people in extended family. The brothers of your mother. That's who Laban was. The brother to his mother. And yet, he was out to kill him. But God delivered him out of his hand. Job had something to say about this in chapter 5 in verse 15. And he says this about God. He says, but he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. You know, sometimes the people you are dealing with are very mighty. And their hand is like a stronghold when they grab people. But God says he can deliver you from the hands of the mighty. Look at Job chapter 6 in verse 23. Or deliver me out of the hands of the enemy, or redeem me from the hand of the mighty. Daniel chapter 3 in verse 17. If it be so, he said, or they said, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And they would deliver us out of thy hand, O He was, they were already in his hand. They were already in his hand. And uh, with his hand, or those that were deputizing for his hand, he threw them into the fiery furnace. But at last, God delivered them from the fire. Psalm 107 verse 2. You all know this, don't you? Let the redeemed of the Lord Say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let me close this segment by saying whatever is holding anything, whoever is holding anything that belongs to you, I pray that whatever they are holding from tonight will be too heart for them to hang on to. I'm talking about your money. I'm talking about your destiny. I'm talking about your promotion, your elevation. I'm talking about the spiritual gifts that you have been asking God for for so long. And the enemy knows that once you get these gifts, his kingdom is in trouble. So he fights against you. Maybe he's hanging on to your children. There's confusion in your family. Maybe your marriage is the one it's hanging on to. Maybe it's your progress. Maybe it's your whatever, right? That hand must let you go tonight because God said, I will deliver you from the hands of the wicked and I will redeem you, hallelujah, from the hands of the terrible. There could be people and they could be spirits. They could be whatever and whoever. They got their hands on you. We are going to pray tonight. Remember what happened to Jeroboam. Jeroboam stretched out his hands. And he wanted to capture the man of God who prophesied against the altar. What happened to his hand? 
The Bible tells us his hands dried up and withered until he was prayed and restoration came to him. We're going to pray some prayers tonight. Please, if you feel you are going to sleep, you better stand up and let's do some warfare tonight because this is not the kind of prayer you, you pray laying down in bed. No, you got to get up and walk around and pray these prayers tonight. You ready? God will give you the grace. I know it's been a long day for you, but God will make it a beautiful night for each and every one of us. Let's go before God with thanksgiving as usual. Let's thank God, let's thank God, let's thank God. Come on, let's thank God for allowing us to see another Friday. Can you believe it? Friday is here. Last Friday looked like yesterday. Thank him for being with you all week long, Monday through Friday. Here we are. Thank God another Friday has met us in the land of the living. We give God the praise. We give God the glory. We give God the honor. We give God the dominion. We give God the majesty. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him for allowing us to be together again. Thank him for turning you into a brazen, fenced wall, surrounded and protected and impregnable and untouchable. Father, we just bless you for your hand upon our lives. We thank you for your grace upon our lives. We thank you for your mercy upon our lives. We thank you for turning us into a brazen, fenced wall. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. Thank him because all cracks were fixed yesterday and all repairs that needed to be effected on your wall of protection. God did them for us yesterday. Give him praise for that. Give him glory for that. Give him honor for that. Give him dominion and majesty for what he has done for you, for what he's doing for you, and for what he's going to do in this place tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on, bless his name. Come on, worship him. Come on, adore him. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Thank him for all the cracks that have been fixed and the repairs that have been effected. And they did not give you an estimate. They did not give you a bill. It's all free of charge. Jesus paid it all. Father, we thank you for the price Jesus Christ paid on the cross of Calvary. We thank you. What a beautiful Savior we have. Thank him because you are not at the mercy of the hands of the wicked and of the hands of the... No, 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 no. You are not at their mercy. Oh, no, 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 no. And if they are infiltrating and getting into a place that they shouldn't get into, God is going to deal with them, every one of them. Thank God tonight that I am not at the mercy of hands of the wicked. Feel the hands of the wicked. Feel the hands of the terrible. We are not at their mercy, people. That's what the Bible says. Papa, we thank you because you we are at your mercy. We need your mercy. We are not at the mercy of these people that made life difficult for Jeremiah, made life difficult for Peter, made life difficult for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and God delivered them. Hallelujah. And God is in this place tonight to deliver us, to rescue us, to set us free. Hallelujah. I want you to thank him because tonight, uh, hands that are holding any area of your life, uh, they must let you go in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Papa, I thank you tonight uh, that all hands that are holding any area of my life, uh, they have no choice but to let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Hallelujah. Low hands holding on to any area of my life will be able to last uh, after the prayers of tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank him in advance for that uh, because God, there's going to be a disconnection, a disconnection. Uh, whatever connects you to any evil hand, uh, whatever connects your marriage to any evil hand, uh, whatever connects your children to any evil hand uh, is going to be disconnected by the fire of God tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to thank him because tonight you are joining the likes of Peter. You are joining the likes of Paul. You are joining the likes of uh, the three Hebrew children. You are joining the likes of Jacob who had hands on them and God disconnected those evil hands from their lives. Papa, we just come to say thank you. We just come to say we give you glory. We give you honor. We are much obliged for your goodness towards us. 
thank him because you are not alone. Uh, the same God who worked it for them thousands of years ago uh, is the unchanging changer who will change it, whatever they have you held down. Uh, have you ever had a dream where they hold you down? To talk, you cannot talk. Uh, to, to get up, you cannot get up. Uh, with prayed about that on this prayer line and you, they can hold you up in their dream, your dreams but they can also hold you down in real life. I want you to pray whatever is holding me down is leaving me alone tonight. Say I'm getting up in the name of Jesus. Say spiritually I'm getting up. Say matrimonially I'm getting up. Say financially I'm getting up. Say professionally I'm getting up. Say in the gifts of the spirit I'm getting up. Hallelujah. No hand will hold me back. No hand will hold me down. You know how policemen do in traffic? They hold their hand like this and they say, everybody stop. Just that hand up makes everybody to stop. I want you to know tonight every hand that is evil that has been held up and I held you up and you cannot move forward is coming down tonight in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I thank you because every hand that is raised up that is stopping me from moving forward uh, is going to be frozen and brought down tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, it happened to the hand of Herod, you know. It happened to the hand of Laban, you know. It happened to the hand of Esau, you know. They couldn't do what they wanted to do. Hallelujah! Say everything they intend to do, they will not be able to carry them out against me tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Say, Lord, I thank you because I will not be at the mercy of anyone but God. Did you hear what I said? I will not be at the mercy of anyone but God. Say it again. Say, Lord, I thank you because I will not be at the mercy of anyone but the almighty good God. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Tonight is special, oh. Tonight is serious, oh. I want you to pray that God will give us appropriate prayer points. I got about 40 something prayer points written down here, but God can give us more and better even as we go in the realm of the Spirit tonight. Pray that appropriate prayer points, adequate prayer points, the Lord will release them to us in the mighty name of Jesus. The specific prayers He wants us to pray, He will give us to pray them tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that as you pray. I want you to pray that as I pray. I want you to pray that as we pray. Sin and unbelief will not hinder us in the name of Jesus. We cannot pray and plead with God too much about that. Say, oh Lord, let sin, let unbelief, let doubt, let double-mindedness, let iniquity not be able to hinder our prayers tonight. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, I want you to pray that the Lord will cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, we come by the way of the blood tonight and we pray for a cleansing, for a washing, for a purging, for a purification from above in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray God will destroy sin in this place. God will destroy unbelief in this place. Even as we repent and I will tell him that we are sorry for any sin of omission, for any sin of commission. Papa, let the blood of Jesus wash us, O oh God. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us, O oh Lord. Let the blood of Jesus purify us, O oh Lord. My friends, pray for grace, pray for grace, pray for grace. Without him, you can do nothing, you know. I want you to pray for grace to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, I can do all things through Christ, who strengtheneth me. I want you to pray that grace will keep you awake. Grace will keep you alert. Grace will keep you to focus. There will be no distraction of any kind. In the name of Jesus, internet will not fail you. The system that you are using will not fail you tonight. The computer that I'm using will not fail me tonight. These recording devices that surround me here, they will not fail us tonight in the name of Jesus. We bind every plan of the enemy against the program of tonight. We bind the plan of the enemy against what we are here to do tonight. Let everything flow, let it flow, let it flow, Lord Jesus. Let everything flow, let it flow, let it flow, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know what we are going to pray about tonight? Every hand that is holding on to you, every hand that is holding on to your blessings, every hand that is holding on to what belongs to you.
do. They must let go. They must let go. They must let go. They must let go. I want you to say a decree and a declare. Come on, open your mouth. Say a decree and a declare. Whatever hand is holding on to where I'm going, to where I'm going, to what I'm believing God for. Whatever hand is holding on to it must let go tonight. I serve notice on every wicked hand, on every evil hand that is holding on to whatever is mine and don't want me to have it. You are going to let go of it, let go of it, let go of it. In the name of Jesus, say tonight, I believe God. Say tonight, I trust God. Any hand that is stretched out and is binding what is mine and is resisting what is mine, that hand is going to be crippled tonight by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Come and say, oh Lord, arise. Pray, 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 pray. Say, oh Lord, arise. Come and say, it. oh Lord, arise. Say, visit every hand that is holding on to any area of my life right now. Visit them, visit them, visit them, visit them, visit them, visit them. If only God will open your eyes, you will be amazed to see hands, weak hands, mighty hands, oh Lord, terrible hands that are holding on to what is yours and they are saying you will never have it, you will never have it. They are going to have something from heaven tonight. Say my father, say my father, say arise and visit, say arise and visit holy father, every hand that is holding on to any area of my life tonight, oh Lord, visit them wherever they are in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, visit them in the Covens, visit them in the churches, visit them in the neighborhoods, any hand that is holding on to any area of my life, visit them under the waters, visit them in the forest, visit them under the forest, under, under the rocks, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever hand, oh Lord, is holding on to what belongs to anybody in this prayer line tonight, who command you to lose your hold, come on, open your mouth, say, lose your hold, come on, open your mouth, say, loose your hold. Say, every hand that is holding on to my blessings, every hand that is blocking the way to my blessings, every hand that is raised up and saying, stop to my blessings, I command fire to visit you tonight. I command fire to visit you tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, oh Lord, humble them, humble them, humble them. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray, pray tonight. Say, O oh Lord, humble the wicked, humble all wicked and terrible authorities that see themselves as Lord over my life. O oh Lord, humble them, bring them down, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, all wicked and terrible authorities, spiritual authorities, human authorities, demonic authorities that see themselves as Lord over my life, generational authorities, family authority, bloodline authorities that see themselves as Lord over my life. I cut you down tonight. I cut you down tonight. I cut you down tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say anyone I have ever met in my life. Anyone I've ever had any dealing with in my life. That have deposited spirits. That are holding me down. They are saying if they cannot hold me. These spirits will hold me down. It's a lie from the pits of hell. Loose me and let me go. Come and open your mouth and pray tonight. Say every hand that is resisting the will of God, every hand that is resisting the plan of God for my life, loose your hand, wicked hands, terrible hands. You have no authority over my life to become my Lord and my master. Say, oh Lord, I decree and I declare, you are my Lord, you are my master. I am not under the authority of any power in the name of Jesus other than the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Say all human hands. I hope you are praying. We don't fall asleep. Oh, say all human hands. Say all spiritual hands that think I am at their mercy. Come on, open your mouth. Say all human hands. All spiritual hands that think I am at their mercy. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. As the hand of King Jeroboam dried up. In the name of Jesus, I am not at their mercy. You are not at their mercy on your job. You are not at their mercy. In the place where they think they are the ones that are ruling, where they think they are the ones that are in control. All human hands, all spiritual hands that think I am at their mercy. All men, 
born of women that think anybody is at their mercy. Oh Lord, prove to them that I am not at their mercy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord God, pull every hand. Come on, say, pull every hand. Come on, say, pull every hand. Open your mouth and pray tonight. God is ready to answer if you are ready to pray. Say, my Father and my God, pull every hand that is on me, oh God, that is not a heavenly hand. Pull them away from me, Lord Jesus. Pull them away from me, Lord Jesus. Any hand that is on me right now, that is not the hand of God. Any hand that is on me from hell and not from heaven. Any hand that is on me that is anti-God. Papa, pull them off. Cripple them. Set them on fire. Papa, cripple them. Papa, set them on fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have you ever seen people that point fingers at people? Very common in Africa. And they will say, you will see my hand. You will see my hand. I want you to pray tonight. See all that are threatening me. Whether I know of it or I don't know of it. And they are saying, you will see my hand. And they are saying, my children will see their hand. Oh Lord, cut off their hand in the name of Jesus. I'm talking spiritually now. That hand that they want to send is an evil hand. It's a demonic hand. It's a voodoo hand. Say anyone, anywhere that says I will see their hand. Papa cut off that hand. Papa cripple that hand. Papa wither that hand. Let them not even have it to be able to point at me, oh God. I shall not see evil hand. Come on, see, I shall not see any evil hand. I I shall only see the hand of the good God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every hand that is on me right now that is not a heavenly hand be lifted up, be lifted up, be lifted up. Every hand that is on me right now that is not from heaven, I command you to be removed from me right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I said any hand that is upon any member of my family, oh God. Children born, children unborn, any hand that is not of God be withered, be removed, be withered, be removed. I want to be known as a man. I want to be known as a woman that the hand of God is upon my life, upon my business, upon the works of my hands. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, save my father, save my father, save my father. Say, travel back into my life, oh, since I was born. Travel back into my life, oh, since I was young. Travel back into my life, oh, since I was in elementary school, high school, college. Say, oh Lord, travel back into my life, oh God. Whatever wicked and terrible hands have been handed, have been handed to, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, redeem me, deliver me, redeem me, deliver me, redeem me, deliver me, oh God. Any wicked hand, any evil hand, any terrible hand that have been handed over to oh God bless our parents, oh God bless our guardians, thinking that they are protecting us, Africa man, thinking that they are protecting us, but they are handing us over to evil spirit, don't you know that woman that reads crystal ball they put a hand on you, it's not good hand, oh, the woman that is uh, reading your palm, they put a hand on you, it's not good hand, oh the people that put razor razor, 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 and cut your head and put some black powder on your chest or on your back. It's not good hand, my friend. I want you to say, Lord, travel back, travel back, travel back, and then they give you chicken. They tell you to eat that whole chicken or that whole fish and not crack the bone. Then they will take the bone and go and use it for voodoo. Say, oh Lord, I pray you the time of my ignorance that is affecting me right now. Whatever wicked and terrible hand I have been handed over to Papa redeem me, Papa deliver me, Papa redeem me, Papa deliver me. Even the ones that I went myself without my parents, places that I went, they say there's a woman there, I go there. They say there's a man there, I go there. And I just mess up my life, trying to protect my life, trying to promote my life, trying to look for a boyfriend, trying to keep a girlfriend. I want you to pray, travel back, travel back, Lord Jesus, travel 
travel back, travel back, Lord Jesus, into my life since I was young, since I didn't know my right from my left. Whatever wicked people, whatever terrible hand, whatever wicked people I have been handed to, oh Lord, redeem me tonight. Oh Lord, redeem me tonight. Whoever the wicked person they handed you over to when you were born, and they say, Papa, pray for him, and say, Papa, pray for her. I want you to pray, oh, whoever didn't know you that prayed for me and they use the God of thunder to pray for me. They use the God of masquerade to pray for me. They use the God of, 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 of water spirit to pray for me. I want you, oh Lord God, travel back into my life. Every hand that touched me on the day that I was christened, on my naming ceremony day, they gave me to a witch. They gave me to a wizard and my life has been bewitched since that time. Say, oh Lord, whatever has befallen me, whatever has befallen me since I was young, whatever wicked or terrible hand I have been handed over to, Papa redeem me, Papa deliver me, Papa redeem me, Papa deliver me. You know why we have the confidence to pray this prayer tonight? Hey, yeah, yeah. Because God told Jeremiah, he said, I would deliver you from the hand of the wicked and I will redeem you from the hand of the terrible. Say, oh Lord, go back. I was in primary school. Go back. Even before I went to primary school, they took us to places trying to keep us and protect us. Oh Lord, and terrible hands had interactions with us. Oh Lord, cleanse me, redeem me, cleanse me, redeem me. In the name of Jesus, cleanse me, redeem me, O oh God, and deliver me from every hand of the wicked I've been exposed to. Deliver me from the hand of every wicked I've been exposed to. Whatever has touched my life, whatever has touched my life that is wicked. Do you know that ordinary handshake, ordinary handshake, hey, hey, I'm an African, oh, ordinary handshake can be trouble. I want you to pray that whatever has touched you, whatever hand has touched you that is troubling you right now, and you cannot even make the connection because it looks so innocent. I want you to pray, Lord God, whatever is innocent, whatever is not innocent, I have no idea. But one idea I have is that you are the deliverer. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me tonight from every wicked hand, from every terrible hand that has ever touched my life. I want you to pray wherever you have been cornered by a wicked hand, wherever you have been arrested, wherever you have been convicted, wherever you have been sentenced. The Lord will come through for you and deliver you tonight. Say, oh Lord, come through for me and deliver me tonight. Wherever evil hand has cornered me, that they cornered Jeremiah, has cornered me, like they cornered Peter, like Herod cornered Peter. Oh Lord, whoever has cornered me with their wicked hand and arrested me and convicted me and sentenced me, and now they are saying I'm waiting for my execution. Oh Lord, the hand that delivered Peter from prison, let it walk, let it come down tonight. That holy hand, that powerful hand, that hand of deliverance that delivered Peter in the prison that day from the hand of Herod and the expectation. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some people are expecting bad news from your house. They are expecting bad news from your church. They are expecting bad news from your from your finances. The, the Bible says, He said, God delivered me from the hand of Herod and from the expectations of the Jews. I want you to pray their hand and their expectation. Let it become nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. They promise them, oh, they promise them that before November you will see. I want you to pray tonight whatever date they have chosen. Oh, Lord God, I shall go beyond that date in peace. Whatever day they have chosen, whatever place they have chosen, nothing concern me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, oh, Lord, where I am already in their hands. Are you listening to Bishop tonight? Say, my father, where I am already in their hands, grabbed and at their mercy. Where I'm already in their hands. Oh, Lord, where I'm already in, at their mercy. Let your mercy bring me out. Let your mercy deliver me. Let your mercy bring me out. Where I'm already in their hands. Where I'm already grabbed and I'm already at their mercy. Oh, Lord, let mercy bring me deliverance. Let Hey, let mercy bring me out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will never, never, never forget two or three years ago. I was in the hands of some people. <laughs> 
They grabbed me. I was at their mercy. And I was praying. I said, God, how will I be free from these people? I am at their mercy. I am. I'm, they can do anything they want to do with me. And just like that, the people that were supposed to help them to destroy me, they were the people that came to me and said, you know, this is how you need what you need to do to escape this thing. The people that were working for them, I want you to pray tonight that the hands that are working for your enemies will come and work for you in the name of Jesus. The hands that are working for your enemies will work for you in the name of Jesus. They will meet on Friday night in the coven and on Saturday morning they will knock on your door and say this is our plan oh this is our plan oh this is the way out oh oh Lord let the hand of my enemies turn around to favor me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we have been grabbed we have been grabbed we have been arrested where I am at their mercy oh Lord bring me up bring me up bring me to a place of deliverance I want you to pray tonight you know what Paul the apostle said he said God delivered him from the mouth of the lion can you imagine it was not even from the hand the hand of the lion had already grabbed Paul the hand of the of of of, of the lion had already put Paul in his mouth and God delivered him nonetheless. I want you to pray as you delivered, as you delivered Paul from the mouth of the lion. Deliver me from whatever is wanting to swallow me up in the name of Jesus. Many of us have debts that are willing to swallow us up. Many of us have temptations that are ready to swallow us up. Say as you delivered Paul from the mouth of the lion. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from whatever wants to swallow me up. If it is a sickness, deliver me from the sickness. In the name of Jesus, say as you deliver Daniel, O oh God, also from hungry lions. Deliver me from spiritual lions, O oh Lord, that are hungry for my flesh, that are hungry for my marriage, that are hungry for my finances, that are hungry for the plan of God for my life. They want to consume it so that I will not reach my destiny. O oh Lord, arrest them. O oh Lord, arrest them. In the name of Jesus. Peter escaped. Oh, say, I shall escape. Say, because Peter escaped. Say, I shall escape. Say, because Peter escaped the wicked hands of Herod. I shall escape. Any wicked hand that I know, any wicked hand that I don't know, disappoint the hands that want to hand me over to death. That's what they wanted to do for Peter. They wanted to hand him over to death. But the hand of God came and said, uh-uh, not this one. I wanted to pray, Lord, disappoint every hand. Say, oh Lord, disappoint every hand that wants to hand me over to death, that wants to hand me over to destruction, that want to make me, oh Lord, gone from the land of the living. I still have many years to live. I still have things I need to do on earth. Oh Lord God, as Peter escaped the wicked hands of Herod, let me escape. Disappoint every hand that wants to hand me over to death. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. See any sickness that my body appears to have been handed to. Hey. Mm. 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 See any sickness. See any disease. See any bodily affliction that my body appears to have been handed to. Oh Lord, consume the sicknesses by fire. Consume the diseases by fire in the name of Jesus. Even doctors have told you uh, that you have been handed over to this. This will be with you. You have to be with this until you die. Say, oh Lord, any sickness. Say, oh Lord, any sickness that my body appears to have been handed to, oh God. Sickness be destroyed by fire tonight. Sickness be destroyed by fire tonight. I pray for you that every long-standing sickness that your body has been handed to, and you have said, well, you have to live with this for the rest of your life. You have to be on medication for the rest of your life. That's a hand of sickness. You've been handed over to it. But my God said, I will deliver you from the hand of the terrible. I will deliver you from the hand of the wicked. Sickness is wicked. Sickness is terrible. Papa, come down on this prayer line this Friday night. Say, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. I want you to pray that any debt, 
any debt, any debt, any debt that you have been handed over to. In the, <laughs> I'm laughing because in Africa, they can send a curse of debt unto a man. They can send a curse, my Lord, of drunkenness against a man. I want you to pray tonight. Any curse, any curse, any curse that has wrapped his hands around me, O oh God, wither by fire. Wither by fire, wither by fire. Any curse and every curse that has wrapped his hands around my life. Oh Lord, destroy them. Please pray, please pray, please pray, please pray, please pray. pray. Whatever it is that has wrapped his hands. His hand, oh, we are praying against evil hand. Whatever has wrapped his hand against you, around you. With that tonight, be destroyed tonight. Be crippled tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say, redeemer, 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 redeemer. Oh, redeemer, 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 redeem me from the hand of the wicked. Oh, redeemer, 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 from the hand of the wicked. Redeemer, redeemer, from the hand of the wicked. Redeemer, redeemer, from the hand of the wicked. Redeemer, redeemer. He redeemed oh Jacob from the hand of Laban. Laban said, Jacob, 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 you are very, very, very fortunate. If not that God warned me to not to touch you, I would have destroyed you. I want you to pray tonight uh, that those who are determined to destroy you, those who are determined to pull you down say oh Lord they shall not prosper say oh Lord they shall not prosper say oh Lord they must not prosper redeem and redeem me from the hands of the terrible the same mercy uh, say oh Lord say the same mercy uh, that redeem me from sin uh, let it redeem me from all afflictions in the name of Jesus uh, if God can redeem you from sin uh, tell me what it is what is this that God cannot redeem you from. Say, oh Lord, that same hand, that same mercy, that same grace that redeemed me from sin. Let it come on me tonight, oh Lord, on this prayer line and redeem me for everything that I don't want in my life. Did you hear what I said? Say, Father, whatever I don't want in my life, whatever is upon me, upon my children, upon my finances, upon my profession, upon my ministry, that I don't want in my life. Redeemer, redeem me tonight. He said, I will redeem you from the hand of the terrible. Say, oh Lord, terrible, terrible things in my life. Redeem me, redeemer, redeem me, redeemer, redeem me, redeemer. Redeem me, O oh God, from all my afflictions. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. We need to pray this one. Oh, ah. God deliver Jacob from the hand of Esau, immediate family. God delivered Jacob from the hand of Laban, extended family. That's his uncle. I want you to pray. Yay. Say, Lord, deliver me tonight from the hand of immediate family. Deliver me tonight from the hand of extended family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me, O Lord, from my brothers who are wicked in their wickedness, who are terrible in their terribleness. Deliver me from their from my sisters who have terrible plans. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, same blood, same blood. A man's foes are those of his household. Esau is coming. The hunter is coming. Say, oh Lord, every hand that wants to hunt me down, oh Lord, raise up a signet against them. Lift up a standard against them. They shall not prosper. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from the hands of immediate family. Deliver me from the hands of extended family. Terrible hands. Wicked hands in my immediate family. Wicked hands. Terrible hands in my extended family that are bent on destroying me, that are bent on destroying my family. Say, oh Lord, they shall not prosper by your grace. They shall not prosper by your grace. They shall not prosper. I want you to pray that every hand, every hand, every hand on me right now, that is not the hand of the Lord, wither by fire, wither by fire. Any hand that is on me right now, any hand that is on my health, any hand that is on my children, any hand that is on my marriage, any hand that is oh God upon my business that is not the hand of God any hand that is on my ministry that is not the hand of God wither by fire, wither by fire wither by fire wither by fire, wither by fire wither by fire, wither by fire wither by fire I see every hand that is not the hand of God upon my life be destroyed by fire, hands, hands, hands you know some hands you know what the Bible calls strong Holds, eh? Strong hold is what holds you strong. 
That's basically what it is. I want you to pray tonight. <laughs> Hands that have become strongholds in holding you down. Mm, mm, mm. Say all hands, all wicked hands, all terrible hands that have become strongholds in holding me down. Say, Papa, let them lose their strength. Let them lose their hold. Let them lose their strength tonight. Let them lose their hold tonight. Let them lose their strength tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hands, hands, hands. They've done sacrifice. Huh? They've done sacrifice. They've done sacrifice for you. You're a child of God. And they think they can sacrifice for your death. What kind of nonsense is this? Say those that have handed me over to death, let them become victims of the work of their hands. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, those who have handed me over to death, those who have handed me over to destruction, oh Lord, let them become victims of the works of their hands. In the name of Jesus, those who are running from pillar to post, taking chicken, taking turtle dove, and making sacrifice to see my end before seven. September. Oh Lord, let them become victims of the work of their hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, let them regret. Let the angels of God use their hands upon them. Oh Lord, I pray tonight. Let your angels use your, their mighty hands upon those who are using hands against me. In the name of Jesus. Every hand upon my finances. I want you to pray tonight. Oh Lord, let my finances be too hot for those that are holding on to them. Let my money be too hot for those that are holding on to them. Let my finances be too hot for those who are sitting on them. In the name of Jesus, my promotion, my elevation. Come on, pray. Say my promotion. Say my elevation. Oh Lord, turn them into fire. Turn my elevation into fire. Turn my promotion into fire. Make it too hot to be handled by any human being. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, so you plan to travel. I want you to pray tonight that your plan to travel make it too hot for anyone to mess with, for anyone to tamper with. If anyone tampers with the plan of God for you to travel, may fire burn their hand. May fire burn their plan. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that God will turn your destiny to fire. God will turn my destiny to fire that no hand can touch from tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, turn my destiny into fire. Oh, those who have said I will not get there because their own children are not getting there. Those who say I will not get there, my children will not get there because their children are not getting there. Oh Lord, my destiny, the destiny of my children, turn them into fire that no hand can touch. In the name of Jesus. What they said, my my children will not have. They will have it. They will hold it in their hands. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me. In the name of Jesus and my entire household. Save me and my entire household from the hands of them that hate us. In the name of Jesus. But they act as if they love us. That's what Luke chapter 1 says. It says, he has delivered us from the hand of them that hate us. I want you to pray, oh Lord God. I know you feel that nobody <laughs> you are, people are laughing at you they are laughing with you and you think they love you there are people that hate you they will take your money and they will hate you they will take your clothes and they will hate you they will cash your western union and they will hate you i want you to pray lord save me save me save me save me from the hands of them that hate me and they act as if they love me save me oh god from the hands of them that hate me and they say they love me i want you to pray lord god deliver me deliver me deliver me from those that are shaking my hand with one hand, but they carry the sword with the other hand to stab me and kill me. Example of that is in the Bible, you know. I want you to pray tonight. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from unfriendly friends. Deliver me from the hands of jealous friends. Oh, deliver me from the hands of jealous family members. Their hand is bad. I want you to pray that the Lord, look at Judas Iscariot. His hand was with the master, eating and drinking and yet he was the betrayer. Say, oh Lord, every hand eating and drinking with me that is betraying me. Papa, let them end up like Judas. Papa, let them end up like Judas. Papa, let them end up like Judas. And let me be given a name that is above their name, above their family name, above what they said I will not rise up to. Say, oh Lord, 
arise. Say, O Lord, arise. Deliver me from those who are hugging me with one hand and they are stabbing me on the back with the other hand. Say, my father, say, arise and judge those that I put blessings in their hands. Are you listening to me, people, tonight? Deliver me from those. I put blessings in their hands, but they turn around. Hey, they turn around and use those same hands that you put blessings in. Oh, to fight against you. Say, oh, Lord, judge, 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 judge. Papa, arise and judge this case. Oh, Papa, arise and judge this case. Oh, I put blessings in their hands. I put blessings in their children's hands. And they turn around and they use those hands to fight against me. Papa, judge tonight. Papa, be my judge. Papa, be my judge tonight. Papa, be my judge tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's go to your family, my friend. Say, Papa, deliver me, redeem me. Say, Papa, deliver me, redeem me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, deliver me, redeem me, deliver me, redeem me, deliver me, redeem me, deliver me, redeem me from flesh of my flesh, from bold blood of my blood, who eat at my table and they lift their hands secretly against me. Papa, redeem me. Papa, deliver me from flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, bone of my bones, that eat to God the food that I serve them. And they use the energy hey, from the food that I serve them. They use the energy to fight me. They use the energy to walk against me. Oh Lord, arise and judge. Oh Lord, arise and judge. All hands that are raised up to smite me and my household, let them not be able to come down. They will raise it up like this and they cannot bring it down. They want to smite me, but they are frozen in the sky. Say, oh Lord, every hand from tonight, from this Friday night, or for many of you from this Saturday morning, any hand, any hand, any competing hand that is raised up against me, O oh Lord, let them not be able to come down. Let them not be able to come down. Let the hands not be able to come down. Any hand that is raised against my ministry, any hand that is raised against my church, any hand that is raised against my health, any hand that is raised against my husband, my wife, your plan for my life, my children, O oh Lord, let those hands never come back in the name of Jesus. Weaken them, weaken them, weaken them, weaken them, weaken them. The hand of the mighty, let them become weak. The hands of the mighty, let them become weak. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say every hand in any area of my life, that is not the hand of God. Hey, we're about to stop. Say any hand in any area of my life this evening, any hand in any area of my life this morning, that is not the hand of God. Hand, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. I said any hand, I said every hand, not most hands, not many hands, all hands that are upon my life, that are not the hand of God, any hand that is opposing the plan and destiny of God for me, I'm making things so hard, making things so difficult, I want you to catch fire tonight, if you are not the hand of God, you will wither like the hand of Jeroboam, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, ah, Lord, give me this prayer point just as I was closing, preparing this. Say every hand, say all hands. I hope you are praying where you are. Oh, say all, we got one more minute. Say all hands that are determined to scatter what I have gathered. Oh Lord, let them catch fire. All hands that are determined in my church. All hands that are determined in my immediate family, in my extended family, that they will scatter what I have gathered. That they will scatter what I have gathered. Oh Lord, let those hands catch fire. Let those hands be withered. Let those hands not be able to perform their enterprise. All hands that are determined to scatter what you and I have gathered. Oh Lord, let them not prosper. All hands that are determined to scatter what our children have gathered. Let them not prosper. In the name of Jesus, I wish we had more time, but we have enough time for one more prayer. Say, oh Lord, let your hand be upon me for good from tonight. In the name of Jesus, Papa, let your hand be upon me for good tonight. Papa, lay your hand upon every area of my life for good. Papa, lay your hand upon every area of my life for good. Papa, your hand is enough. Once your hand is there, their hand cannot be there. Oh Lord, how can your hand be in a place and the hand of the terrible be in the same place? Oh Lord! 
Father, lay your hands upon me for good tonight and never remove it, O God. In the name of the Father, never remove it. In the name of the Son, never remove it. In the name of the Holy Ghost, never remove it. Let's begin to give God a praise. Let's begin to thank him. Let's begin to say, Lord, we praise you, we worship you, we adore you for answering our prayers tonight, for giving us the best tonight. Hallelujah! We glorify your name. We thank you for your hand upon our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And everybody said, Amen and Amen and Amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May everything that you have commanded tonight be established for you in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the terrible be removed. May the hand of the wicked be removed. And may the hand of God and angelic hosts replace their hands in your life. I decree it in Jesus' name I pray. And everybody said amen and amen and amen. Wow. Time flies so fast fast. But we thank God for the grace he has given us. I don't need no hand upon my life that is not the hand of God. I just want the hand of God upon my life and every hand that is competing with the hand of God is in trouble. One or two announcements and then we will let you go. Sunday service is still at 10 a.m. I'll be bringing a special, you don't want to miss the word that I have for Sunday morning. Join us at 10 a.m. in Coins for our service. And I will still be online at 10 30 on Sunday morning on Facebook, YouTube, and the other platforms. I'll be preaching a message I preached last Sunday, obedience triggers blessings. But you will get more than they got in the church because the one for tomorrow is an expanded version of what they got in the church because we have more time online than we have in church. So join us 1030 on Sunday morning. Sunday school as usual is at 3 p.m. While Bible study is at 7 p.m. next week, Wednesday. The prayer for next week. You don't want to miss it, so I beg you. The prayer for next week. We are going to pray against freak accidents. Hey, you know what they call freak accidents? Join us next Thursday and next Friday, 7 p.m. New York time. And finally, next week, Friday, please bring those seven prayer requests that we prayed for seven months. We have something special that we want to do about them. That is next week, Friday. May God bless you. May God keep you. May his mercy continue to be upon you, even as we share the grace to bring this meeting to a close. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Go and rest, and may the hands of God permanently rest upon your life. Good night.